so let us now start drawing this figure over here I have selected place smart line option click in the screen and now in this direction I want to move a distance of totally 13 units this horizontal line is of 13 units specify this direction type in 13 enter and left click this is the line after you have this line now next you can draw this portion from here to here from this point to this point the horizontal and vertical variation is three units that is from here to here horizontally in this direction it is moving three units and vertically in this direction it is moving half of six which is again three right. so I'll enter in my acute draw this time I'll be entering two values till now we have been drawing only straight lines so we were going with a single value and a direction now we'll enter three press tab on your keyboard the tab button on the keyboard and you will go to the x coordinate enter 3 over there again enter and left click now we have specified the x and y coordinates of that point with respect to this point that is the previous point and we got this line over here as desired next now we want to draw from here to here again the x distance is 3 units and y distance is 3 units but if I enter the same values over here in micro station for the second line also you can see the difference that is what happens over here is the axis system that is the coordinate axis system gets rotated each time you draw an inclined line now I'm over here now if I type in the same values that is 3 tab 3 enter and left click I'll be getting it like this vertically the reason being I'll go with undo control Z you can see the red mark and the green mark right now the X axis is over here and the Y axis is over here that is since we drew an inclined line the axis system got rotated along the inclined line if you want to get it back to the normal position you can type on your keyboard the alphabet T that is in order to get it into top orientation okay, that is the default orientation if you want to get it back into the previous orientation you can go with the alphabet B as in B for ball okay this is your base rotation you can go with T for top rotation and you can go with B for base rotation using the B alphabet you can toggle between the two rotations base and top okay. so this is the default way now I'll type in the number 3 enter I want it in this direction 3 enter and the Y value is also 3 enter Left. just a second it did not get rotated properly I'll go with T right now I'll type in 3 enter and the x value again 3 enter and left click that is how you get it over there again it got rotated you can see the rotation of these values I'll again type in the alphabet T now this is your normal default value in this direction I want 13 units of line 13 enter and left click now come back downwards in this direction type in 3 enter and 3 enter left click again you need to change the orientation T okay and in this direction I want it 3 enter and 3 enter go with left click right click to accept it this is the figure which got created now this figure each time we cannot keep on changing the orientation of our access system right so we have a setting in the place smart line dialog box click on this arrow we have rotate acute draw to segments option right now it is checked uncheck this remove this option it should not rotate acute draw that is this acute draw to the segments each segment you should not rotate it go with ok now if you try to draw the same figure from here to here in this direction 13 enter left click then type in in this direction 3 enter 3 enter and left click it won't rotate just specify the direction enter the values hit enter then left click you will not have to change the view each time 13 enter left click 
थ्री एंटर एंड थ्री एंटर एंड ऑटोमेटिकली इवन दो आई एंटर थ्री एंड थ्री इट हैज टेकन द एक्स वैल्यू एज थ्री एंड वाई वैल्यू एज माइनस थ्री द रीजन बी यू हैव स्पेसिफाइड दिस पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्शन यूजिंग योर कर्सर सो यू कैन स्पेसिफाई द डायरेक्शन एंटर द वैल्यूज हिट एंटर एंड देन गो विथ लेफ्ट क्लिक क्लिक ओवर हियर एंड दिस कंप्लीट इज द फिगर दैट इज हाउ यू विल गो विथ ड्रॉइंग ऑफ द इंक्लाइन लाइन्स एंड नाउ लेट एस लुक फॉर a few more options in the play smart line dialog box when you select this you have several options all right now we have seen rotate acute draw to segments option let us now go with the options one by one i'll pan this shift left mouse button move it over there in this way right <clears throat> Now, right now, if I draw lines in this way, I'll be getting a series of continuous line. Right click to accept, and now if you select just one segment, all the lines are getting selected. I'll go over here, select this, remove this option, join elements, click on this, and keep on drawing the same lines again, similar lines again. Right click, and now try to select any segment. Each segment will behave like a single entity. This will behave like a single entity. This will behave like a single entity. That is, whenever you have the join elements option enabled, all the lines will be joined together. You cannot select, edit, or delete individual segments. You'll have to modify the entire shape of the line. Whereas, if you have join elements disabled, then you'll be getting individual segments of the line. That is your join elements option. Next, over here. you have vertex type right now the the sharp option is selected you can even go with rounded or chamfered that is this option is used in order to monitor or alter the vertices which we get when we are drawing these lines i'll select the smart line option and over here i'm going to draw a rectangle right now when i draw the rectangle i'll be getting the same sharp vertices right now i have drawn this rectangle randomly if i want to draw this line the next line up until this point till here then you have an option over here that is just hit enter on your keyboard specify this y direction and in this direction hit enter on your keyboard now what happens is your movement of the cursor gets logged in this particular position along the y axis now i'll click over here on this point i'll directly click over, click over here and you get a point at the same level at the same level right so instead of getting a track in order to project this point over here onto this line you can directly hit enter on your keyboard now i'll click over here and this is the completion of the rectangle Now the same rectangle I can even get by using the smart line option, and instead of sharp, I'll go with rounded option. Rounded radius value. I'm going with some three. Okay, and now I'll click over here. Click over here, and you can see the difference. Select it. Hit enter, and in from here I'll go over here and click on this. that's how you will be getting these fillets or these corners using the rounded option the next option over here is chamfered that is whenever you are creating lines you can even go with chamfering the vertices go with fit view these are the objects now here i'll select the smart line option chamfered selected like this in this way and you get this kind of a chamfer select it and then move in this direction select it and keep on moving that is how we will be creating these vertices you can see the chamfered 
line okay so these are the two options over here rounded and chamfered right now the distance chamfer distance is 3 that means horizontally and vertically these are the three distances this distance is 3 and this distance is 3 similarly you have the values for radius as well stop the session over here we'll continue in the next session